Hello, everyone. This is Ex Bethelite, and I have a question for you. Can the Watchtower organization be compared to a parasite? Again, that's a question. Can the Watchtower organization be compared to a parasite? So you're welcome to put your comments down below so we can discuss that topic. And uh, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, I can understand you not wanting to put any comments down below because you may be afraid of being attacked uh, by uh, people. I can understand you not coming to my Facebook uh, my Facebook is under Marcus Vaughn. Maybe you don't want to post anything because you're afraid of being attacked. But if you're a witness, I haven't been disfellowship. Why would they disfellowship me just for telling the truth or just telling people my experiences uh, at Bethel? I haven't been put on reproof. Uh, if something like that were to happen, then that would just be more evidence that uh, the organization is just a corporation, uh, not necessarily a religious Christian body, but a corporation that will do anything in order to silence people. But that has not occurred as of yet. So when I put my number out there and I ask a question, is the organization like a parasite, then it's open for anyone to discuss. So my number, 937-607-5085, if you are a witness, you need to call that number because I'm not disfellowship, not uh, put on reproof, hadn't done anything to be put on reproof uh, or disfellowship. And there's no reason why we can't have a reasonable discussion on the matter. So let me just flat out read what definition I got of a parasite. And then we'll discuss a few, a few facts. And then it's up to you to decide on what you think. So this is what I have. Now, under parasite, if you just Google it, it says an organism that lives in or on another organism and benefits by deriving nutrients at the host's expense. You have another definition underneath that. A person who habitually relies on or exploits others and gives nothing in return. So if that definition included a, a person, why wouldn't an organization be able to be compared to something that exploits others? and relies on others deriving, uh, you could say, benefits at people's expense. That's the definition there, right there in Google. I didn't make that up. Uh, let's talk about the facts. Again, this is open for witnesses to discuss. I, I, I'm... I don't know why anyone wouldn't be open to discussing uh, their organization openly unless they had something to hide. Uh, if I was talking about the Catholic Church, I'm sure I'd get phone calls from Catholics uh, trying to correct me on something that they thought that I was incorrect on. If this was about Baptists, I'm sure I would get phone calls from Baptists. Uh, trying to correct me on something that they may thought may have thought that uh, 
I may have misjudged. Jehovah's Witnesses more than welcome to give me a call at 937-607-5085. Let's discuss anything here that you think uh, may be inaccurate. However, that definition fits. Let me ask another question. Was there an article printed by the Watchtower organization showing people how to give them their jewelry, to donate to them their, their jewelry, uh, to donate to the Watchtower organization their estates, to write out a will and, and give that to the organization. Did the organization print out an article with that information on there for people to, to I guess, give away things that would normally go to family uh, in the event that they were to pass? Yes, I've seen it. I have seen where the organization would feed off of its members. Let's also talk about, and again, correct me if I'm wrong, if that was never printed in a watchtower or a wait, give me a call, shoot me a text, say, hey, Marcus, you're, you're wrong about that. You're more than welcome to do that. I want you to do that. But I've seen it with my own eyes. Now, if you have essentially a printing company, a printing corporation, does this corporation have its members uh, distributing that printed material for free, really, free of charge. Now, I mean, when I say free of charge, I mean the members are not receiving anything. The organization is benefiting through that proselytization. But the members are not receiving anything. Is that feeding off of the time and resources of the membership? People buying uh, vans, people buying large vehicles for the purpose of distributing the uh, publications printed by this organization. And they're, they're doing all this with their own money, their own resources. The organization benefits from that, yes or no? Yes, it does. What are they receiving uh, in return for distributing the literature of the organization? Uh, let's talk a little bit about the uh, the time invested. Because I can recall being a, a, a kid, really, and being in the back of the van while my parents went out in the ministry. And so we're talking about even kids starting at a young age, that type of time investment. Are your kids able to watch cartoons and relax like other kids on Saturday? Or is their time used to learn how to hand a, a, a track to someone or a watchtower or an awake to someone? Let's just be honest and let's just be open about things. Because if you want to call something the truth, then 
you have to be open to just that. The truth. Is it a parasite or is it not? Is it feeding on the time, energy, and resources of its membership or is it not? Answer the question down below. Answer truthfully. And that kind of answers another question. Because if the answer to that is yes, the organization can be likened to a parasite. Well, then, all the witnesses that wonder why we do videos, you have your answer. If there is an organization or any kind of disease or anything that feeds on people, devours people from the inside out, who wouldn't make that known? If you knew about something like that, and if that were true, and you had a problem with someone making videos or making Facebook groups or discussion forums, warning people about something that is essentially a parasite, then there would be something morally wrong with the person that had a problem with that. The person who had a problem with people making videos and otherwise, you know, making it known that this is something dangerous, the organization is something dangerous, that you have people that are older and don't have any family uh, the organization has destroyed their family. They have not spoken to their children. Uh, children have not spoken to their parents. Uh, grandparents have not spoken to their grandchildren. Uncles have not spoken to nor seen their nieces and nephews in years because of this parasite-like organization. Stop me when I'm being inaccurate. If that's the case, then of course people are going to make videos in order to warn others. And if it's not a parasite, this is this is the big thing. If it's not a parasite, if this organization is not doing the things that I have mentioned, if anything that I've mentioned is inaccurate, why then wouldn't one of the, what, 8 million uh, witnesses call the number and say, hey, I think that you have a few things wrong, or I think you have a few things inaccurate about the organization. We all know that anyone trying to cover something up, trying to hide something, uh, would not want that sort of dialogue going on. Because if you have the truth and I have something inaccurate, the only thing that would happen if the two of us were to have a discussion is that that truth would shine through. Whoever, whether it be me or whether it be the other person on the other side of the discussion, whoever had accurate factual truth that is what would be highlighted so there's no reason for a witness to have not 
contacted me about anything that I have said and correct me if there's anything inaccurate. So I'm going to uh, post this on my Facebook also. Uh, my Facebook is under Marcus Vaughn. Is the organization a parasite? Is it feeding on people? Is it eating people from the inside? Do you have people who have spent years, 40, 50, 30, 20, whatever it is, years in this organization that have nothing now? You know, not 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 really having anything to show for the time and energy and resources that they've devoted to the organization. So I think it's very reasonable for any witnesses to, you know, answer uh, that question. And if there is no answer to the question, then why would someone have a problem with uh, someone making video? Because I can tell you right now, answer the question. Uh, if you have factual reasons that it's not a parasite like organization, then I'll just do another video and say, hey, such and such has got some good facts and I've been corrected. I'm willing to do that. However, if there are 8 million witnesses and not one of them calls this number, then I'm also going to post. And not one of them can correct anything that I've been saying, then it's the truth. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So this is uh, X Walk Hill, Beth Light signing out. Uh, my number again, 937-607-5085. My email, if you're from, you know, out of the country, my email is B E T H E L I T E, the number seven at yahoo.com. Uh, Send me an email and I will get my Skype out, my Skype number here for you. Because if you're from another country, then you can Skype. And from my understanding, it's free everywhere. So I'll get my Skype number to you right now. I'm looking it up. It is M-A-R-C-U-S-1-5-9-7-3. If, if you're a witness, I'm not this fellowship reproved anything. I'm just asking a question. Answer it yes or no. I've given so many different ways to contact me. Again, my Skype is M A. R C U S one five nine seven three. Contact me any way that you can and uh, let me know what you think. This is uh, X Walk Hill Bethelite signing out.